We're going to look at the Law of Signs Part 2, and this is what's called the ambiguous case. When you have side-side angle, or just two sides in the angle opposite one of them. In this section we're going to round sides to the nearest tenth and angles to the nearest degree, unless otherwise indicated. And the reason why this scenario, side-side angle, is called the ambiguous case is because there are three possible scenarios that can happen when you're given two sides and the angle opposite them. One of them is that there's no triangle possible with the given values. Another scenario would be that there's only one triangle possible. And a third scenario is that there's actually two possible answers. And this is why it's called the ambiguous case. So in the past I've told you to just draw a triangle and assume there is one. In this case, I'm going to show you geometrically why there is no triangle. And so we have angle A, angle B, and angle C I haven't drawn in. Angle C would be somewhere along this line. Angle A is 70 degrees, so side A is opposite it, so that's 2 inches. Angle C is somewhere down here, and the side opposite that would be the 2.5. And so what happens here is that literally this side will never touch. It's not long enough. This two inches will never make it to hit side C and so there's no triangle possible. But you're not going to know that without, if you don't have a ruler and a compass to measure the angles, and excuse me, a protractor, uh, to measure the angles, then you're going to need to set up your triangle. So we're going we're gonna to approach this in the same way. We're going to draw a triangle We're going to assume there is one. We know, so we draw a triangle ABC as if there is one, and we're going to fill in 70 degrees for a angle A. Uh, let's see, side A is 2 inches, side C is 2.5 inches, and we're looking, if we want to solve this triangle, the first thing that we can do, we've got one complete ratio for A, we have half of the ratio of C, we know nothing about B. So the first thing that we can do is find angle C, or attempt to find angle C. So we've set up our law of sines. 2.5 over the sine of C is equal to 2 over the sine of 70. After cross multiplying and setting those cross products equal and dividing, we get sine C equals 2.5 times the sine of 70 degrees divided by 2. We want to find the angle now, so C is going to equal the inverse sine of the 2.5 sine 70 degrees divided by 2. So let's try to evaluate this on our calculator. My calculator is in degree mode because I want my answer to be in degrees. I'm going to take inverse sine of 2.5 sine of 70 degrees, close the parentheses, divide by 2, and then close the parentheses again, hit enter. Now I get an error that says domain. So I'm getting a domain error, which basically in this case means that there is no triangle. And I'll explain to you why that is true. We know that we can't take the inverse sine of a value that's greater than 1 or less than negative 1 because the domain for inverse sine is negative 1 to 1. So if I just evaluate this value in here and see if it's greater than 1 or less than negative 1 then I know there's no triangle. So we'll quit out of there. We'll click 2.5 times the sine of 70 degrees divided by 2 and hit enter and you can see we get 1.17 and so that's the problem that this value is too big and so there is no triangle.